So this is a concept that I've had in my brain for a while, and I found both the time and motivation to finally work on this. I'd like to sort of document the history of strategies throughout the years, who found what if I can remember, and show how many things have changed from 2012 to now, and sort of illustrate how speedrun gets from its initial stages to being an optimized run. So Piranha Plant Pond, not necessarily the first stage you'd see in a speedrun, but has at one point or another been the first stage in 130 star routes and is still in the most common 80 star route. This stage in a speedrunning sense has always had a lot of hiccups for new runners. 80 star being the introduction category to this game for a lot of new players, it has been a wall of demotivation to instantly be greeted with one of the hardest tricks in the game. I'll get into that a bit more, let's just take it one star at a time. I'm not necessarily going to go in order for the stars, so let's start with the ones that had the most variants. I remember this as being one of the early discoveries, uh, that the star requiring the metal cap didn't actually need the metal cap. This meant that the stage order was no longer bottlenecked behind having to go to check your harbor first to get the metal cap before completing Piranha Plant Pond. I believe several different people found a way to get the star without a metal cap, but these are the ones that pretty much everyone used. It was shortly after that Serial Box found in his semi-casual playthrough uh, a quicker way to do this. And this is the way we typically do it now. There have been a couple of variances depending on the category, uh, the strats employed, and here they are. And here's a really precise strategy that involves making use of how the game doesn't cap your speed while uh, viewing in C up. Thanks to Spaceman64 for the video of this. Okay, so now we'll take a look at what we call Canalus and Owlus. You see, that's when you get the stars without using the cannon or the owl. You mean repeat it so you can get that, or? So that cannon being paired with the other star is something you do if you wanted to use the cannon for this star. And it's pretty much necessary to learn Alice because the owl doesn't spawn until star 6. So if you were speedrunning 80 star, that'd mean you can't get the star at all since you don't get 100 coins here in 80 star. So I don't know 100% for sure, but I think it was Falco who came to me sometime in 2013 and showed me a video of Canalus. And I took one look at it and said, no one will ever do this shit. <laughs> It's a really cool single star strat, but it's ridiculous. And to be fair, it is one of the hardest strats for a single individual star in the game to this day. Here's a comparison from what we'd consider standard cannonless and using the cannon. And this is a comparison for what we call Pro Canalus. The difference between Pro and Standard being that the angle required for a wall kick is significantly more precise. What's good about this strategy is typically that you can go for Pro and if you miss, still go the Standard way. However, if you go for Standard Canalus only, you can dedicate to a much better angle, which is sort of a middle ground in terms to how much time you spend. 
And from here, the method for Ahalith has changed a bit, with I think Lamas turning me on to the still current method. Uh, the first method was something that I saw from whoever found this. I can't remember who to credit this to. And this method is my take on it because I thought it was a bit easier. And this method is just consistent. I seem to be getting a little more consistent at cannon less. Okay, so moving on to the cave star. Not much here, just showing the differences in strategy. I feel the fastest way of doing this was actually the first one anyone was really doing. And then people came up with these arguably easier ones. The reason these are easier is because you have to jump pretty close to the edge and have a good angle that allows you to hold up the entire time during the long jump. I always felt like this was a superior method because one, it's faster, and two, if you make a mistake, you have this backup which really comes down to pressing A at the correct time. So 100 coins and 8 reds hasn't varied too much, just a couple changes about whether or not to kill which piranha uh, utilize this 3 coin box until it was further optimized in 2016. I feel because of the nature of the stage, the fact that there is a warp between one side and the other, there is a superior route out there yet to be theorized. That is probably the case with many 100 coin stars in this game, and time will tell. There was an interesting 100 coin star route done by White Iris back in the day during 80 star, which paired the star with the cape star rather than 8 reds, uh, but he always removed all his videos and I can't find a video of it. It wasn't necessarily beneficial for anything, but just for the sake of showcasing the history, it would have been cool to have a video of that. And that just leaves the final star, which really only has two ways to go about it, and I don't really know that anyone actually ever did anything but this. And that's about it. I hope this video was entertaining. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, and if you'd like to see a specific stage done next, I'll go by popular demand. Uh, anyone that I mentioned will be in the description uh, to their Twitch channels, as well as the music occasionally used. Thanks for watching.